<laughs> I saw your play um, two years ago, and you got a big, warm reception, and you called it. It was about 15 seconds long the whole night. Yeah, well, uh, I, I enter that, that play always starts with me entering a la Kramer, uh, kind of expecting a big, <laughs> big, big applause from the audience. Normally, oh, I did it to man. crickets, but one night they applauded uh, just out of, I think, instinct from seeing right. uh, someone enter like Kramer. Now, do you still hold the record for worst play ever? <laughs> Well, uh, I, I've been kind of emailing back and forth with the Guinness Book people about that. And what email is that you've been emailing? Yeah, what's that email address? I'd love to email them about my water bugs. Uh, I've been doing gbook at AOL.com. <laughs> That's what you've been doing? I don't know if they evaluate things as subjective yeah. as is it a good play or yeah, not. Yeah, it's more like longest play, yeah. hottest play. Hottest play. <laughs> well, hottest play. play. You do you hold the record for hottest do. play. That's right. That's right. Well, my control. Katrina play. Uh, oh boy! We really turned it up in there so that people could feel what it was like oh to boy. be one of those people. There was a the it was the room was um, outlined with sauna rocks. Yeah, we had sauna rocks on the outside, swamp cooler on the inside. <laughs> okay. uh, swamp cooler. It was pumping hot air from outside in. Correct. Yeah, that's, that's right. That was the play where the riot broke out, right? <laughs> yes. Well, a riot broke out because of, <laughs> a tired riot. Uh, everyone was pretty exhausted, and I came out as uh, uh, I came out as Donald Trump. <laughs> Did I say Trump? I meant Rumsfeld. I got Trump on the brain. I came out as Donald Rumsfeld doing Billy Crystal's jazz man character, and people oh, found it so. Man. Confusing. It's very that they confusing riot. just you saying that. So they didn't riot because they were angry about the content. They were they rioted because they were so confused. <laughs> they were so confused that the, the human instinct when you're at peak confusion is to is is anger and mob, mob mentality. Oh. And it was so hot they were throwing slow punches. It was all tired. Well, the Guinness had it in there as the slowest the slowest massacre. In this. <laughs> it was a massacre. Some people were killed. <laughs> Uh, I did finally buy a new house. I got rid of the tiny house. And it I'll, is huge. Uh, and it's uh, what I would like to call, and what Guinness Book of World Records has decided, is the largest house in America. Wow. Uh, that, wow. Thank you very Guinness much. Guinness loves this town. Yeah, Guinness. Uh, I sent, and you know the email you were sending things to? Right. It's the right one. It is. It and, is. And is it true that while they were there measuring your house, you also, you also won for stinkiest bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> you won three or four Guinness? Awards that day, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Stinkiest bathroom. Uh, stinkiest bathroom was one. Uh, shortest backyard grass was number two. And meanest to the Guinness employees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. People are getting um, food poisoning at record numbers at your poker place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, record numbers. Record numbers is the key to that phrase. We got to give Guinness another call. Yeah. Uh, well, I've been on the horn with Guinness, and it has been – I've been getting the runaround, the bureaucracy of these Guinness idiots. It's hard to get – it's almost like that thing's a dying franchise. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> I, mean, I still I still buy the hardcovers, the big silver hardcover that weighs ten pounds. Yeah. You should print it in color, sixty five dollars. I leave that on my toilet. I say take as long as you want when you're in the restroom. You're gonna find some interesting reads in there. Yes, yes, the hundred and twenty year old man just died and she was visited by Guinness. First thing they fucking showed up for in this goddamn <laughs> yeah, they, town. Those sons of bitches. Up uh, there. I mean, I've been hula hooping for four years, they don't come over here. You're currently hula hooping, wee, wee, and wee. Guinness is not even fucking here. It's Those like, cowards! What a missed opportunity! It's a hundred percent. I'm you. I'm. We're calling out Guinness right now. We dare you to show up here. We got oh. so many records at this school. Ooh, you just gotta come see them with your own eyes. God, I cannot <laughs> wait to visit the Guinness Book of World Records store on Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard. Gorgeous store. You're gonna go there. Yes, yeah, that's where I vacation every summer. What are you going to get? I'm going to look at the world's <laughs> tallest man, and I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm probably going to get the world's smallest souvenir. Well, last time... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that man work at the store? Yeah, the world's tallest man. They got him there. It's not a wax figure of him. He is there, and he is sick. How tall is he? He's eight foot nine. And he's ill? Yeah, his pituitary gland, yeah. pituitary, pituitary gland pituitary. is fucked up. 
I'm the only baby in the room who diarrhea his diaper. No, I mean, I'm, I might have, but you're the only one who vividly remembers it. <laughs> I'm in the Guinness Book as earliest wipe. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean. Self-wipe? Uh, oh, earliest self-wipe. Earliest self and, and that was uh, uh, out the, that was right after you got slapped, you wiped, right? Yeah, I slapped, I was, I, I popped out of my uh, mom. Uh, I was cleaned off. Um, and then I wiped my own ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, they slapped me in the face. I woke up. Um, I, I wiped Because you come my... out asleep. Yeah, Everyone yeah. You fu- oh, yeah, coming. I was dead And they asleep. tried to slap you on the butt, but you wouldn't wake up, so no. they slapped you on the face? They slapped me on the face. They said, get up! Get up! <laughs> Treat like, you, like you've already known the words get up and would respond yeah, to English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wiped myself right there. Somebody took a, a little video of it. Wow. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. It plays in the bathroom at the Guinness Book on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Strange. Take a look at this kid. Yeah, it, it doesn't shows. seem like one that would be big for the Guinness Book. No. Obviously, big for you, but I'm surprised they play it in their Guinness Book is trying to store. regain their uh, presence. You know, uh-huh. do not the internet exists. No one gives a shit about Guinness Book, <laughs> right? Uh, and so I think they're just trying to be interesting and do whatever they. They can. need yeah. the lady with the pop out eyeballs again. Mm. Absolutely, that's mm-hmm. what everybody remembers. Yeah, well, she could shoot milk out of her eyes. That, no, those are two different people. Two different people. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the problem. I don't know. <laughs> I lumped them all together. I think somebody's. Got That's a right. somebody seven foot tall. They can poke their eyeballs out, and they're fat, and they're twins, and they ride on bikes. That's the problem with the internet. <laughs> nothing is weird anymore. I know. <laughs> you know Everything is so crazy that nothing regular is weird. Yeah. Come on, let's get Mr. Hands part two. I want to see somebody I die see fucking an animal. Spitters. I want to just see guys who spit crickets. Oh, That's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I mean, look to your left. You got one right here. <laughs> oh, sorry, Todd. I didn't realize. I break my hip regularly, and so sometimes I have to make love without a thrust. And one time I did that and conceived a daughter. And Thank I, God I, your whoa, penis is so sensitive whoa, that that's enough whoa. to make you ejaculate. Yes, I have, well, the Guinness World Record for most sensitive penis. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's emotionally sensitive, that's too. That's emotional as well. <laughs> you can make my penis Oh, my cry, God, your penis gets penis triggered constantly. Yes. Wow. Ro- no, roasting is the new thing. Roasting is the is new it? thing. Yeah. It's the new yeah. thing. You yeah. get them at all kind of Korean spots. All the Kardashians <laughs> get roasted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen, you know, that that it all started when that tan mom, you know that story, the woman oh. who spent, she actually was the first person. Uh, she was the first person to get to deep get, fried. To get deep <laughs> And people said deep frying is a step too far. It's a bridge too far. Oh, I about- remember seeing that in the Guinness uh, stairwell. <laughs> this Guinness Book of War Records stairwell. Yeah. First, first, to get first person yeah. to get fried. Yeah. Deep fried. She's and there. And they put powdered sugar on her and a bunch of, a bunch of fucking losers at a carnival tried to eat her ass. <laughs> They brought in a bunch of losers. <laughs> they brought in a bunch the of survey, carnival losers. Well, it the was survey. the most losers to get tricked thinking it was a, a donut. <laughs> the survey to determine it, if you could or couldn't eat this woman was Guinness hilarious. Book, Guinness Book is having an absolute field day and it's finding an so much success with finding records off of their other records. <laughs> yes, so let's see how many carnival losers we can trick <laughs> is the perfect record to make off of it's, Deep Fried yeah. Woman. <laughs> they, they're making a second book. They're making a second book of all of all secondary uh, secondary yeah. records. It's a real awakening, and I can't wait for the new store. Pers- We're going to line yeah. up, and uh, I'm excited. They're doing a live a live demonstration uh, uh, to see uh, who can uh, most quickly lift the world's fattest twins. Oh, okay. Uh, quick I, lift. It's a quick spoiler lift. Spoiler alert: It's nobody. No one. That's no one. <laughs> These men are too fat. Oh God. Well, we're fucked. Like, <laughs> Well, I saw that one guy on Ripley's who split his tongue and tattooed his body, and I said, this is going to catch. This is going to this Ripley's. is going to go big, and I want to be that. Ripley's is our Bible for sure. <clears throat> yep. For well, sure. Ripley's is the New Testament. Guinness is the Bible. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be honest. In my head, those two things are the same thing. No, because Ripley's is more of a believe it or not, and Guinness is more of a world record. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And I Guinness, guess literally that is what Guinness the two is things just are. the believe half of Ripley's. Right. Well, for a while, Ripley should just be called or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> none of that shit is true, and we know it. Yeah, for a, we were big Ripley. Like we would show up to Ripley's and go fake, fake. no way. Like, and they, they you know, they give you that option yeah. or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's a simple trick or treat. We, um, we did it enough times that Dean Kane tried to kill himself. That's right. And the whole team jumped up and <laughs> ran up the field. Yeah, and you guys lost. <laughs> 
Yes, I And the other team said, we don't have half times in baseball. What were you doing in there? <laughs> Where were... did you even go? <laughs> they were... Why well, is Russell well... Simmons here? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that game became famous for so many follow-up questions. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was one of the longest <laughs> high school post-game interviews yeah. that there's ever been. Nationally televised high school. Yeah. It was on ABC. 1,500 follow-up questions. Prime time. <laughs> TGIF. Yeah. The post-game aired right in between family matches and hanging with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> the Guinness Book rated that the weirdest baseball game ever. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, right? And what was the what was the reigning weirdest baseball game ever that it beat out? I, I can't remember. Oh, uh, it was uh, it was the one. It was when the, it was the Florida Marlins versus yeah. the Astros, yeah. where a sinkhole opened up in uh, the whole infield, and they played through it. They played through and, it. Uh, yes. the, the baselines just sort of cut like a like you were t- slicing out a weird hunk yeah. of cake, and then you took the cake out of the middle, yeah. and then you. Uh, you, this is remember? making sense, right? This is making sense. But then what, was the one, that... what was the rating one right before that? <laughs> the third weirdest one? Uh, I think the one right before that was the one... What was the guy from the Atlanta Braves that had a lot of... Glavin. No, the Tom one, Fred John McGriff. Smoltz. The, no, the opinionated one. Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff. Tripper, Chipper Jones. The, the Tripper, one... Tripper Jones. I signed my name with an X. That guy, right? Oh, I can't David remember. Justice. No, no, the opinionated one. Bob you <laughs> Bobby Cox. Uh, yeah, Bobby Cox, the first baseman of the Atlanta Braves. I can't believe they let him play. Was he was 75 playing first. God, I wish I could really The early 90s that. Atlanta Braves. The guy that said a bunch of bullshit about uh, people on the subway in New York. Rocker. John Rocker. John Rocker. John. So that was the... That one rock. got me. That, I remember it. John Rocker. Rants. Yeah. I remember uh, it. The, the weirdest game right before the sinkhole one was the one where they let John Rocker, instead of singing the national anthem, just say opinions on different minorities. <laughs> to right. the tune of the national anthem. Yeah. To yeah. the tune of the national anthem. That was crazy. And they shot off the fireworks <laughs> at the end. And... There was a flyover. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, great game. But, but that, that really... That well, really it really motivated a yeah. lot of he, the players he, against he, him, yeah, is right. what happened. He went on to uh, to pitch a all-hitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they just beat the piss out of him afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Right. God, that, that was... was, what, was that, what was the one right before that one? <laughs> The fourth weirdest baseball game. The, oh, that was one of your other games. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you yes. were. That was you. That was me. Yes, Billy Symbiotic. Sounds like my symbiotic relationship with my damn ex wife. Yeah. Whoa. That is true. You disappeared. Whoa. I... You disappeared. <laughs> That's absolutely right. From everyone's view. Mm-hmm. Social. Hers, her friends, your friends. Oh, yeah. Yours. It was the quickest. Siding with an X that's been recorded. Guinness. Yeah. Guinness. Guinness is back. Quickest siding. Guinness, by uh, the way, is back. I agree. Yeah. Howard. yeah. Guinness, Guinness is, is back. back, and it's worse than ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bigger in terms of badness. Yes. So, were you humiliated by that ruling when Guinness showed up and all of your friends had sided with your ex-wife? I, I had a feeling because uh, right after the breakup, I got texts from everyone saying, "Don't. Uh, we're not interested in your half of the story." <laughs> Said I'm not going to be there for you. Immediately, I got some calls from old friends just checking in to make sure that I knew that they didn't care about me. And Todd, uh, is this? I haven't heard about this wall thing. Is this? Did you buy a new property, or you're, are you still living in the dorms? Or did you uh, move that's off in my dorm wall. Oh, well, okay. a lot of people are saying that the people on the old people I'm looking at the other side, it's a mirror, uh, and I'm building a wall between myself where, and a mirror. Where is this window? Is it in the bathroom? It's, um, it's as you walk into the bathroom. On the left are the urinals and the stalls, right? And on the right is the window to my neighbor's house. What's, wait, if you're looking at, is that, it overneath the sink? Yeah, if you're looking out that window, overneath? what's that about crotch? Level. It's right over the sink, and people have carved <laughs> some pretty rude stuff into the window. Uh, what? Right, what, what's right above crotch level? Yeah, I was just asking. It, it was, it, the sink, you already said it. The sink, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it depends on you. Seems right like above my crotch level is <laughs> the uh, wall outlet, because I have a very low crotch. <laughs> and yeah, so, you got shortest legs in recorded history, biggest torso. Guinness. Guinness. Um, so now, you're in a pretty heated debate with these neighbors. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> 
Home Run Anderson. Now, tell us how you got your nickname, Home Run, because I was the pitcher that the people hit the most home runs off. Right. Of. Yeah. Guinness. Guinness. And the, that's actually a Guinness record. Uh, Guinness, Guinness is, is back. back. Guinness is back. Guinness is back. Now that you would think that the, the nickname would be something that is positive yeah. about well, you. Well, I I used to come out to a, a song that I wrote myself called "Here Comes Strikeout Henderson." <laughs> mm. Which is also probably a bad song to come out to. Uh, that's when you when was, that was when you were bat. batting. Yeah. You were going up to bat. Right, right. That was your to bat music. <laughs> like Strike out, <laughs> yeah. Anderson. And without fail, it could be a 3 0 count. I would strike out. I'd swing at every pitch. And then yeah. when you'd come out on the mound, they'd play a song called Here Comes Home Run, Henderson. Yes. And it was just backwards. Which yeah. I, I wrote both of them. I said, I, to, I explicitly told them when to play the songs. But they got them flipped. And they stayed. They, Self fulfilling prophecies. Well, you could say. they kept oh. saying, This is not a mistake. We are trying to humiliate you up there. <laughs> you, you classically <laughs> rewrote Take Me Out to the Ball Game uh, to when you would pitch, please Put leave this ball game. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be bad. Yes. And yeah. then I also heard please another version. Please leave with this. this ball game. Take <laughs> me out to the crowd. <laughs> oh, so you were trying to get yourself fired and make yeah. you part of the crowd. Yes. Well, I heard you. those peanuts and cracker jacks. Your other version of the song with the same melody of put me back in the bullpen. <laughs> same melody. Yeah, same, same melody. So same melody. This is, uh, this is Melody, uh, Melody, Jer Jeremi yeah. Mel Melody Jeremiah. Mel Melody um, Jeremiah. Gr same melody. Yeah, same, same melody. melody. As which song? <laughs> what well, you were just singing. Yeah, same melody, same yes. melody, yes. but the video had the same melody. Yes, yes. Melody, melody Jeremiah <laughs> and Melanie Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, uh, yes, uh, so... Yeah, and there was a time where you 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 were traded 120 times without ever landing. <laughs> you just stayed in the air. I stayed in the air. They you lived in said, an airport for two years, right? Like Tom Hanks in the terminal. Yes, I did a terminal thing because I just kept it. I'd land, I'd land with my family, and immediately I'd walk off the plane. They said, uh, "You're going to Tampa Bay." I, mean, I just got to Seattle because they were doing these trades with you where they weren't saying they were they were saying uh, we'll give you uh, our first round draft pick and two uh, auxiliary. Players, they would yeah. they would do these blind trades, yes. and it then they finally find out once they got your papers. It went down uh, in 2004 Guinness Book as uh, Guinness. <laughs> Guinness is back um, <laughs> as uh, meanest hoax. Yes, because <laughs> yes. you were forced to play in Tokyo for a while. <laughs> well, yes, I still played for the Atlanta Braves, <laughs> but they made me go to Tokyo and and pitch from there, and mm. I realized I. Well, I've been living the same way I've always been living. I live with my mother. Mm -hmm. um, and she's how old? Uh, <laughs> she's 93. Wow. Oh. She does not look it. She does she not. She does not look it. But you say I look like I'm 110? Well, she looks in her, she looks 150 is what I'm saying. <laughs> She's beautiful, but age. gorgeous. Age. Beautiful for 150. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know where you saw her because she barely leaves the house now. I saw Guinness Book of World Records at knocking on her door. Yeah, they're back. Says, is this the oldest <laughs> lady in the world? They are back. Oh, she didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, maybe she's embarrassed. Did she get it? I heard she's kind of embarrassed to be the oldest lady in the world. <laughs> well, and she was, doesn't really want to be in Guinness, so the picture they have of her is her sort of turning away. This one wasn't oldest lady in the world. It was oldest looking lady in the world. <laughs> yes, right. That was a little embarrassing. <laughs> right. Uh, I guess people are calling me Blunt now. It's it's become a thing around the camp. Blunt Levis. Uh, Blunt Levis. Uh, what are the quickest... Quickest nickname to catch on in all to all of time <laughs> since the beginning of time. Yeah, Absolutely. Guinness was here. Yeah, yeah, Guinness was here. And yeah. Guinness, I'll tell you what, people don't know this. It's back. <laughs> Guinness is back, and they are flourishing. We've been donating. My, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've been donating to getting it to Guinness. They're yeah, trying to convince me and Todd to be the new world's fattest twins. Yeah, I said, well, uh, yeah, that was a hit job, right? They they pick <laughs> twins and they said, do it for us. Well, yeah. they pick people. And then they make them look like twins. Right, right, Wigs, right. same clothes, right. two motorcycles, <laughs> etc. The famous photo yeah. of the big ass twins <laughs> on <laughs> motorbikes. I, We've I, all seen I, it. Just Google the, the twins thing. on motorcycles. I, I'll tell them the same thing every time they ask me. I'll yeah. do it, but I'm not going to cut my nails. Right, and they try <laughs> to I'm make. Still going for longest nails. Yeah. My dad left when I was sixteen. Because so last you're year. a dickhead. He let. He didn't. <laughs> dude, you don't. You fucking ran them all, dude. 
You don't fucking Boss know man, me. you ran your dad off. You're the first child Guinness to run his own dad off. His dad wanted to stay. <laughs> but I would like constructive notes. This feels more like jealousy at the no, end of the day. No, this is, Todd, there this is never very been, constructive, yeah. and, and it's brutal. And really? be, well, because <laughs> Guinness, Guinness said I had the most down votes of any porn video ever posted. Well, yeah, yeah Guinness, Guinness said that. Guinness yeah. screeched to a halt in their van, and they came out, and they <laughs> they, they, they rushed. I love that Guinness street yeah. team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well they're the always visiting yeah. us. And that's yes. the whole team For the now. negative portion of the book. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's positive and negative. Uh -huh. uh, most down votes on porn. <laughs> I always think it's going to be the publisher's clearinghouse van, but it's always Guinness. <laughs> well, they come out. Note. They do come out with balloons and a big check. Yeah, yeah. But the check is negative. I have to pay them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the ambulance. You're like, no, 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 Guinness, no. I'm <laughs> not that. I, it's not an award. Oh, I've I've waved off a million ambulances. <laughs> well, I mean, if somebody calls, if somebody's calling out selling snacks, I can't. I, I feel bad not not paying for it. And them. Guinness was in there uh, at your arcade the other day. I saw them screech to a halt outside the mall. Yeah. Um, to quick <laughs> yeah me too. And I drove right past them. I couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I was trying to screech with them. Well, I screeched yeah. right off a hill. You did. You yeah. did. You almost died. All Again. Almost. almost. Like it, yeah. uh, but they came in and quickly uh, awarded you guys dirtiest carpet in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quickly. Yeah. In the arcade. Uh, they yeah. didn't even have to think twice. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, it, well, and, and I, I knew the day that I signed on to this job that we had a shot so you emptying no, out no, no, no. a vacuum no i i know what you're saying you're saying like uh the, like sort of the 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 sort of thing that the vacuum sucks the dust into we're saying you vacuum the whole mall <laughs> and reposition all the dirt to the dirtiest carpet you're, you're cheating, cheating. Listen, guys you're fucking nobody cheating. wants to see how the sausage is made nobody wants to see how the sausage is made okay that's, that's true. not <laughs> we're not yours <laughs> you keep showing us how your sausage is made well you know i, I just want this this arcade to have some sort of attract some element of attraction and, and the games right. aren't it, so well, I you figure are, the Guinness you, record for dirtiest carpet is is up there on the list. We just got ski ball going. Uh, uh, look, Webster's I, defines disguise <laughs> as. Well, Webster defines disguise. <laughs> well, and also, I who's, who's still reading Webster? What does Guinness define disguise? As? That's right. That's what I mean. I, I read the Guinness Book of Definitions. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> Longest <laughs> definition. Well, yeah, but, I read the Guinness Thesaurus. Uh, fat, uh, the Guinness th Thesaurus, which is all, um, it's all the fat twin on a bike of a different <laughs> word. <laughs> Sounds like a carousel I built. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I, of course, am uh, Howard Levis. Uh, I, was a te we, I was a biology teacher on Earth, but now I, at this mall, I'm working at the arcade and, and things uh, are appliance. Uh, uh, how would you say it? Repair shop. Uh, appliance repair shop, and maintenance it's shop. It's the filthiest one on the Earth. Guinness. Uh, Guinness approved. And, uh, you know, things well, are. Disapproved. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Things are going all right, though. Stamp of disapproval. Let's yeah. say that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a bad record. Yeah. <laughs> but you won the record. I did. But it's a negative record. Very, well, yeah. Dirtiest carpet in the world. <laughs> Dustiest, specifically. <laughs> yeah, not the dirtiest. Oh, no. Not yeah. the dirtiest, because no. I have that in my bath mat. Yeah. There's no my dirt. My bath mat is going to screech to a halt. There's no dirt. It is only dead skin yes. cells and pet dander. Yes. Those are the two things that are all over the floor. In, uh, in yours? In mine. Yes. Yeah. Well, no. Sam, I really feel like if you want to catch this robber and, and clean this mall up, you're going to have to refocus on your actual job. And hey, not I'm on trying. It. Well, speaking of the Guinness Dud Awards, <laughs> they roved up and, and we got most dangerous mall in the world. I know. It's unbelievable that it's just, why does this have to happen right when I take over? Like, yeah, you know what I mean, that you what feel like that's deal? unlucky for you. It's well, so unlucky that right when I become security guard, three days later after I've crashed my car thirty-two times, it's the most dangerous. I will mall say, in I would say, uh, the one variable well, that has changed just before we came up here, this mall was classified as one of the the safest and most well -run family mall, friendly, family friendly yeah. malls in the world. Right, and then right. days after we come up here, it gets reclassified as the most dangerous mall in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's your fault specifically, Thank Sam. You. I'm just saying that there does seem to be a correlation between us starting to work here yeah. and this mall seeing a rapid decline. Our okay, energy well, really uh, attracts negativity. the dark web, people from the dark web, yeah. right. those guys that are meeting yeah. in your arcade. I found, you know, it I, seems like a safe space for degenerates. Yeah. It's an anti-safe space. Well, yeah. 
And I, I saw, I, didn't, I mean, I saw that guy. You guys know that guy, Gavin McGinnis? Mm. Yes, yes. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was there. He was meeting with these guys one, for one of these McGinnis meetings. McGinnis is back. McGinnis, McGinnis is, back. is back. Gavin McGinnis is back. Look at this fucking McDonald's yeah. trying to get their name on everything. <laughs> it's Guinness. Yeah. It'll always be Guinness. It'll always be Guinness. And it'll never it'll be never go away. And we are in their pocket when we're helping fund them. Yeah. Who are we talking about now? Guinness. Guinness. Okay, Guinness, all right. Not McGinnis. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that makes yeah. that all makes sense. Uh, former trainer of uh, dolphins. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, and yeah. I know this will not succeed. And you ended up I expanding s- your store into that second storefront, which is, makes it the largest things remembered on record. It is. It is according to Guinness. Guinness. Yes. Which yes. Guinness is a, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh yeah. We're, We're small in America. Big fans of Guinness. <laughs> um, so Guinness said, "We cannot. We cannot believe. We cannot believe it." <laughs> <laughs> they did it, Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> it was a huge, you didn't read about it? It was a huge lawsuit between the Whoa, yeah. they showed up and said, believe it or not, we're here, we're Guinness. Yes. Wow. And Guinness ended up winning. And then yeah. and then a van screeched to a halt and Dean Kane jumped out and he said, I need this, don't take this from That's me. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. He handsome. And it was, uh, Guinness immediately gave Dean <laughs> Kane the saddest screech we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm pretty right. sure uh, Dustin Diamond has that. <laughs> Dustin Diamond. He does have the saddest screech. The saddest he's screech Guinness, ever seen. Guinness certified he's the, saddest. He is the, sad, he's the Guinness certified saddest screech. No. And that was a recognition for his porno. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. What was that yes. called? Like, get, believe it. No. <laughs> believe, it. <laughs> believe it or not? <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, someone had sex with me. <laughs> that was yeah. Screech a, colon. That's a big part of the Ripley's oh, no, Believe that's It that's what it was called. It was called Screech colon. <laughs> screech colon. That's, 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 that's right. That's right. Was he supposed to, was it supposed to be, was he supposed to be like, uh, hung? <laughs> yeah. Was he, he, was he supposed to, I, I don't think, know. I think, I, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. Oh, oh, I made everyone so uncomfortable. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. I'm sorry, I should not have brought. I should not have brought that up. That was actually very unprofessional. And we are in a mall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, please. Come on, let's take Is a deep breath. Sacred and, anymore? Yeah, let's take a deep breath and compose ourselves, guys. Where do you work, Howard? Uh, I work. I work up at the arcade. I don't know if you've ever been up there. There's the arcade up on the mezzanine. Uh, oh, it's yeah. like the sort of floor that's not a floor. It's just an arcade and the food court. Uh, and uh, I actually, well. You know, I've 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 been working there, but I've been having a lot of issues recently, so I haven't been able to spend a lot of time in the arcade. Dustiest carpet. Yeah, I've got the dustiest carpet. Guinness Guinness certified dustiest <laughs> wow. carpet in the world. Uh, <laughs> certified. Yeah. So that's not technically a record. No, 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 no. So Guinness Cert- is also in the <laughs> certification <laughs> building. Yeah. They're, they're they're trying to compete with JD Power, <laughs> yeah. and they're trying oh, to certify right. anything they can. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. yeah I have a Guinness certified worst car. <laughs> 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 what kind of car? Uh, it's a jalopy. It's oh. a Ford jalopy. And well, because we're Gu- so close. Gu- I remember we did a double dutch, and Guinness couldn't have come faster yes. for our longest wait to get into a jump rope. <laughs> yes. That's right. You and then, were there. Yeah. What was it? Thirty-eight hours. Thirty-eight hours, and then quickest tie-up. <laughs> Quickest Quick tie, tie up. up. Before I even got my foot actually in, <laughs> the rope was around my neck like a noose. Fully <laughs> tied up. Yeah, tie almost almost uh quick as accidental suicide. Almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. So close. Almost. But it was it, they said it wouldn't have been a suicide. They would have blamed the murder on you guys. Uh. Oh. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That. Oh God! I just stubbed my toe. Oh God! Oh, someone help him! Help. Someone help him! Oh, are you okay? Just kidding. Acting. Oh wow! My toe's okay. fine. That's but brutal. Thank you for the sympathy. Your toes are not fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're fine. They're, they're not worse. <laughs> they're not they're not as worse. bad as they've ever Unfortunately, been. Unfortunately, they're not worse. But Guinness did screech to a halt because you had the dustiest, yellowest, big toenail and the toes that go in the most directions. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> But the beef diaper will prevail. So you, think, I know well, it will. You Hold thought, on. sorry, I just because you thought all the people on Shark Tank really liked your idea because it was no, they're jealous. The, yeah, jealous. It was. It was Shark Tank's jealous of the beef diaper. It was Guinness. Guinness screeched to a halt and said it was the absolute shortest segment in Shark Tank history. Right. Well, yeah, because they don't even want to entertain. The, the thought of the it. The segment was short, but I will say the blowback on your end was long. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if y'all saw it, but Bill was in full FUBU uh, trying to impress one of the charts. Damon. 
Trying well, no, to oddly, him. trying to impress Cuban. Yeah, he's a blue, and he. Did, I guess he didn't know who the actual founder was. <laughs> well, I also had a big Cuban illegal not. cigar. <laughs> I had a big illegal cigar and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> What was the sandwich for? Uh, oh, yes, yeah. yes, the pork sandwich. Yeah. Yes, I had <laughs> sandwich. And what are the other two judges? What's their names? What they Mr. Wonderful. Oh, Mr. Wonderful. As you know, I was playing that song, Everything is Wonderful Now, by uh, Everclear. Everclear. Sure. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. In fact, perfect what I, I wanted to say is... Uh, I mean, I'm. Uh, this is no Shark Tank, but I'd like to get in on that. Is that true? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, so far, I was a uh, Guinness Book of World Records uh, ha- uh, came in and awarded me shortest Shark Tank experience mm-hmm. because I was quickly asked to leave. Mm-hmm. That seems um, like a weird category. <laughs> <laughs> Guinness these days Guinness. they're really <laughs> they they're going out reaching. Out their category. Yeah, they're yeah. reaching, reaching, all right. they're reaching, they're rebranding themselves with very specific uh, world records. Um, Rare for a funeral audience to boo, though. Rare for a boo. <laughs> usually usually okay. that's stuck to sports oh, or spectator s- events. Yeah. Funeral, usually pretty demure. <laughs> yeah. Not a not a rousing boo. Well, if I didn't know it was rare, I found out when the Guinness van screeched. <laughs> Quickest and loudest funeral boo. They brought the two decibels records. in. Yeah, two records. Wow. Quickest and loudest they, boo. They brought in the decibel meter. Yeah. Wow. Uh, last one was obviously um, me... Trying to stand uh, at John McCain's funeral. Um, George Bush, uh, the first, stood out of his wheelchair and everyone applauded him. Uh-huh. And then I tried to stand and people or, booed me. What about, was it Bob? I thought it was Bob Dole. Bob Dole stood. I thought it was Bob Dole that stood. Well, everybody forgot yeah. after Todd stood because <laughs> yeah. it was pandemonium. It was, the, it was pandemonium. <laughs> you were booed. You were rotten tomatoed. Someone wheeled in a guillotine and said, This it's fits, for you. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was uh, mob mentality. Luckily, yeah. Uh, I do have what doctors call chicken neck. So the guillotine ended up actually not fitting my neck. It was too wide, and I slipped right out. Too wide. Too wide. Wow. But you did still run around like a chicken with your head cut off because you were so traumatized by the uh, by So the imagine me at George Bush the First's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, I was wrong. It was oh, Bush. Okay. Dole stood. Is Bush dead? Bush is dead now. All this right. Happened to you, Tom. Is dead. Yeah. This happened. Well, spoiler alert, I'm gonna have some memory issues today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You you do some healings at some of your services. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and absolutely. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think I did see the Guinness headline last week that you have now knocked out the most <laughs> old women that you were trying to get out of their wheelchairs mm-hmm. when you hit them in the forehead. <laughs> Let me tell you something. How else are you going to know if your knees work if I don't knock you out of your chair? <laughs> Uh, it's frustrating. You can, it, the episode's probably out there. Well, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, again, bearing the lead a little here, but Sam, you also, uh, most you, Guinness pulled up and gave you most proposals. Uh, you yeah. proposed the most on that show. Yes, absolutely. Most, uh, one way proposals. <laughs> uh, I got no acceptances, but they all said, thank you. <laughs> they all said, thank you. That wow. They were very flattered. And they said, um, next time. Get a real ring. <laughs> I used a ring pop. Oh, yeah. And, that's, and I so mean, that could was be probably cute, why. Could be cute to some people. Well, that's oh. what it was to me. It was like, you know, I'm not looking for a gold digger. Mm-hmm. What I'm looking for is a candy lover. Which you, you had a small news story about you. You know, yeah. you were gaining a little steam. And then small. you went. Small. <laughs> It was actually picture in picture in a normal news <laughs> broadcast. There was what? no audio. It was just a small news story in the corner. Well, that yeah, Grin- had- Grinness. Um, what's their name? I'm sorry? Grinness. 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 Guinness. 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 Uh, Guinness. Guinness screeched to a halt, and it was uh, the smallest news story of all time, right? Yeah, that's true, which I, I take pride in. I mean, any any press is good press is what they say. Well, Guinness is never going press. away, by the way. It's at its height, and it's... it's Guinness? Yeah, it's never going away. Oh, yeah. It They're could be stay. more popular. I'm yeah. a little fed up with uh, this new special Guinness that's coming out, which is all Guinness's smallest things. 
smallest news story. Well, we know why uh, you're upset about it, Todd. <laughs> Todd, they Todd they reached the out to you first as sort of the cover boy. <laughs> Todd, why did you bring this up? Why yeah. why would you possibly walk yourself into this, Todd? Well, because it's pissing me off. <laughs> I think that the fact that they hit me with the crossover, smallest penis and smallest audience. <laughs> it was a crossover, not two separate. That's how I made the cover, is it was the two sm- it was two small things at once. And it was hurtful and offensive. Uh, and we're all, it's not like, I know I'm the cover man. I don't know who's saying cover boy out there, but I'm the cover <laughs> man, but we're all in it. Everybody made Guinness the smallest for different reasons. Yeah. I think this is just your, your, uh, ego backfiring. You wanted to be famous at all costs and now you're unhappy with the type of fame. Yeah. I did give them all access. I gave them <laughs> all access interviews. <laughs> Candid photos as well, in right? Room? Candid photos. You put up you put up a toilet cam for Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> Unrequested, I set up a toilet cam. And they uh, didn't want any of that footage, correct? <laughs> well they they got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I mine was more ethereal. Um I I was voted I had the smallest impact. <laughs> <laughs> really? In what Which way? Felt- Everyone on earth. You have impacted society, other humans. <laughs> they say, you know, like a life is worth lived if you can just reach one person. <laughs> and they were able to prove that I have left no impact on anyone. Well, wow. luckily, it's there's not a lot of information on you because the smallest impact page is we forgot who this guy was. <laughs> yeah. We had a guy for it and we forgot. It him was just we image not available in every little square box but i want it you seem to have gotten changed by this small brush with fame you had um in the in the late 70s and and it was oh so small this brush with fame you um you, sound like you broke guinness. <laughs> guinness of course it was 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 recognized by smallest guinness smallest book um <laughs> You broke your ankle in the back of a Soul Train taping. <laughs> Not yeah. down the line. I got. I broke my ankle getting chased out of a Soul Train taping. <laughs> <laughs> because I've never seen bluegrass, but I have heard bluegrass. <laughs> yeah. um, so maybe. Oh, well, is this my you banjo out down band- here? You smelled a banjo and pulled a banjo from underneath your seat and then did the worst twang song I've ever heard. All your fingers were bleeding. Yeah. That's right. Um, it was what they're saying is the uh, Guinness bloodiest so far. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? So and, far. Yes. Uh, and also uh, afterwards, Steve Martin announced that he's quitting banjo. Wow. Really? God, yeah. I hope that's his final answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so screw he, that guy. He's a comedian. He's not a musician. Well, I I do want to draw the line. I know you were trying to get donations for your horse um, outreach, and your you you were gonna do what are the these revivals that travel from town to town? Uh, trying to yeah, get we were going to absolve them of their sins. Uh, we put a little bit of holy water on them. Well, well, I saw water. you try to baptize water. that one horse, and you got kicked about 40 yards. <laughs> yeah, the, a Guinness a Guinness actually pulled up. It's the longest, the longest horse, horse kick, kick fly. Wow. Longest yeah. horse kick during a forced baptism was what they... <laughs> Guinness is getting pretty specific, but I can't... We can't narrow it down enough, Guinness. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. A record is a record is a record. Let's let's keep them all. I believe I I, I wholeheartedly believe that every time you say grace, you got to say everything you're thankful for. And like I heard after your list last day, man, uh, Guinness screeched to a halt. <laughs> That's true. Guinness Guinness. And I and then I had to start over because I said, dear God, I, I thought I was done. But the Guinness guys just showed up. And you I had to pray you this, for Guinness. Grace. I'll say some grace for these Guinness boys. And these guys. 
these guys barged right in. And I was like, this is interesting that this is how you guys operate. Uh, I didn't know that that was the way that they operate. They screech to a halt. They kick down your door. They come in and they slap a plaque on your wall. And I'm like, it's yeah. almost SWAT like. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> it's crazy. I was like, Jesus well, Christ, guys, call I think first. That Knock. Guinness's relationship with the NSA is a little too tight. The fact that they can hear everything we're doing so <laughs> yeah. that they can screech to a halt and come. Well, that was part of the Patriot Act. It was. Yeah. Yeah. To, we gave it was up our rights to um, yeah. to get Guinness in the. We know. gave up our well, rights since- for Guinness. Ever since they started giving out records for everything, a lot of people were like, no, I don't want this one. I don't right. want to be in the book. Well, I not. So they're trying to hide from Guinness. So Guinness has to sort of creep up and get the element of surprise. It does feel like Guinness is the reason we were in the Middle East. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like there's a long oh, there's a the reason there's a, we got in and the reason we got out. There's a direct correlation with Guinness wanting to he- listen in on our records and, you know, yeah. what happened in New York. <laughs> That's right. Of That's course right. we all Well, remember. you know how they found, you know how they found the big bad guy over there. Guinness, the went, over there, Guinness went over there to give him a record for worst guy. Really? They found him, screeched to a halt, and that alerted SEAL Team 6. So That's you're right. telling me that Abadabad <laughs> heard the classic Guinness screech. He was about to be awarded worst guy. Yeah. And then SEAL Team said, got wind of it over the, the PA. Not, <laughs> yes, the PA. Not, not the... <laughs> no. Uh, no. It was public announced the, system. Not the CB, not the not radio, the no, it was public a, address. The they, were <laughs> not, they were obviously announcing the, uh, congratulating the homecoming king and queen over the PA. Right. And also they heard the Guinness. So Osama's. The big bad uh, guy. His, the big bad guy. Well, are we saying his name? Are we back saying his name? Or are we just calling him the big bad guy? <laughs> I mean. Because I don't want to respect him and say his name. I, I won't say it. I, okay. I won't give him the okay, respect. Okay, so the big of bad guy, name. his ego's so big that of course he's coming out immediately, greeting Guinness, yeah. relishing. No relish. pun intended. We're close yeah. to relish booth. Um, <laughs> close. Relish. It is hard to get off your mind when you're this close. <laughs> I mean, you know how onions make your eyes water. Yeah. Relish makes us slobber. That's right. We're Pavlov. over here like perfect butts. analogy. Bad love. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> anyway, uh, the big bad guy, his his hubris got to him. And well, so and they had six. tried a few other things. You know, they tried publishers clearing house with him, but he wouldn't come to the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He didn't need the money. He didn't need the money. <laughs> he didn't need the money. But he could not resist Guinness, and that's what got to him finally. And uh, Yeah, rest- thank you, Guinness. Guinness, rest- thank so- you for your service, like we always have but said. But it's kind of like Guinness started the whole thing, and they solved it. So, like, no thanks, Tough. Guinness. No thanks. Well, I've been, you know, Guinness found me um, in a little dirt hutch. Uh, like I was hiding out, growing a long beard, because I, I just was done getting some of their awards. Uh, I hear you. It was right. I had gotten so many, and they were almost all hurtful. Longest uh, object ever hit. Longest right? object ever hit. Yeah, you threw a pitch, and it and someone hit it, and it was the longest flight ever. Yes, right. Yeah. Someone uh, first, right first set, uh, speed of sound baseball. First speed <laughs> of sound of baseball. First baseball to uh, enter orbit. First baseball to make contact with the aliens. Longest uh, cry on the mound. Long- <laughs> Longest cry on the mound, which is unfair. I will say it's unfair. Uh, I, most, I, I wouldn't most, have been so long if we didn't go into extra innings. Most <laughs> most foam sliding into home. Most foam sliding into home. Most, most manager uh, pitcher on the mound conversations. Yeah. Most and, and, longest, and the sort and, of the, the hand in hand goal with that one was the most times refused to be subbed out. Most right. refused to sub out. A long, uh, first and longest uh, hands and knees begging manager to not be taken out. <laughs> most most pitcher never- manager most pitcher manager toothpick confusion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we all remember that me and the manager both ran back to the dugout with the same toothpick in our mouth, uh, yeah. as if it was a uh, Chinese finger trap. Yeah. Okay. Most. It's not my arm. It's the rosin bags. <laughs> 
That's right. I, for a year and a half, I was throwing the worst screwballs because the rosin bags were all messed up. <laughs> How were they messed up? Well, that, no, I actually would argue it was the best screwball because it would turn around and boomerang and hit your ass between the eyes. <laughs> Yeah, for one whole year and a half, my screwball would go all the way around <laughs> the catcher uh, and the umpire and come back and hit me dead between the eyes. I couldn't get away from it. And my hands were very dusty. I say because of the rosin bag. Other people say because of dry skin. <laughs> well, doctor. Well, you were creating your own rosin bags in real time. <laughs> yeah, they used me for rosin for a couple years. Uh I toured with the Strokes, and they used my hand dust for cocaine. <laughs> it worked, did it, or was it a placebo? Hey, they were trying to, to get album. off it. They were trying to get off. Yeah, it. they were trying to get off it's it. They like were using methadone. it like methadone. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a classic Freaky Friday, so you know. Except we- for usually for me, it's a freak, a Freaky January, or. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you get lost. You hold the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest essence switch. Is that right, Todd? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, you uh, currently are an essence. You're currently an essence. Todd Padre is an essence switch, right? I, so how do you mean? Uh, as in Todd, you as a person. Uh-huh. Were, this was a dead body at one point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm the uh, I'm an animated. You've uh, been buried uh, a baker's dozen of times, right? On accident. A baker's dozen. I've got I got more lives than a cat, and I've been buried more times than a baker puts things in a box. Todd uh, Padres originally from the 1600s, right? Yeah, <laughs> Todd Padres. Todd Padre is a 1600s shaman. Uh, <laughs> Let's get into this because this is canon, folks. We need to get to the bottom of this. I think so. I think Guinness screeched to a halt, right? And they said, well, this is ugly, but it is technically a grand piano. Yeah, Guinness <laughs> is doing firsts now. First <laughs> ugly grand piano, they said. And I was like, okay, well, right, right. keep your distance, but thank you for the award. <laughs> yeah, Guinness is being pretty lax on the six foot uh, throughout this whole thing. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Social distancing is not a thing in the Guinness playbook, I don't, I don't think, anymore. Because uh, they've been getting really close. In fact, in fact, I believe they got, they gave themselves the award for closest award, for yeah. closest distance uh-huh. award giving. I'm going to protest <laughs> that. I think that self-given award Guinness can't do. They've been doing a lot. They, they did best world record book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like they're, so they they wrote a book about a thing that they have in yes. their own book. Yeah. Mm. It's ridiculous. But, most obsessed with long fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> and that went straight to the editor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> whose who's yearly number one has been Fingernail Man. And that's ridiculous. Oh, because- is Fingernail Man the editor? <laughs> I didn't know they started hiring the people who got the records to be on the staff. Because I know Lady Who Shoots Milk Out of Her Eyeballs was the accountant for a while, yeah. correct? Well, it's, yeah, they right. don't hire just any of these people. If, if but they poached if her from Ripley's, believe it or yeah. not, I believe. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they've been poaching for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ripley's, Ripley's couldn't hang on to her. I mean, she was accounting for them and their money was covered in milk because she's constantly shocked <laughs> while she's drinking. Well, she's shocked at how much money they're making. Ripley's <laughs> yeah. is working. Yes. yes, it's remarkable that we don't talk more about Ripley's because Rip, Ripley's, believe it or not, is arguably just as interesting or more so than than the Guinness Book. But well, I think the problem is that they let you they let you not believe. It's fifty mm. fifty. You know, you yes, believe Guinness it you is. There's, it should yes, be Ripley's. Guinness does believe not, it. Yeah, Guinness gives you no room to not believe. <laughs> Every, I believe true. everything I've read in the Guinness Book, one hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. It's more of an, I know. It's like yeah. an almanac of fact. Yeah. It's not a it's not just like Ripley's is exactly. entertainment. Guinness is uh, data. I get very yeah, emotional. It sounds like there's a little bit of a singing career there. What uh, yeah, that's when did you ever pursue well, that? I when I was a child, <laughs> I was praised for my precocious singing voice. <laughs> Mm, yeah. For said, how precocious it was. Well, people said you sound like a, you're 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 eight years old, but you're singing like a twelve year old. Um, right. And uh, I developed a vibrato very early on. Uh, the earliest, I'm, I'm in the Guinness Book and Ripley's. I'm one of the few people that's in both. Oh, I choose to believe this. Wow. Wow. Earliest, earliest, For youngest vibrato, vibrato developed. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, well, uh, well, we oh, all know why mood. I couldn't go down to mood. <laughs> mood. <laughs> Mood, I where of the course fabrics been, are uh, your friends. <laughs> I I've just remember that I sing. <laughs> that was one of the jingles that caught on the least, right? <laughs> it was, Guinness said, it was the least popular jingle. Wow. So yeah, they even printed never heard. How did they? <laughs> <laughs> they even printed that. <laughs> How it's never they... been heard. How did they prove these sort of subjective mean things? They did an exhaustive interview of every person on earth and said, have you ever heard this? Now, there was quite a scandal because they had to play it for them in order to ask them if they'd ever heard it. Now they've heard it. Right. And so that was that that was the year that they didn't have a Guinness book. I got to say, you know, Bill, that's a really good point. Some of these Guinnesses are starting to sound a little... It's a little suspect. Okay. And it's been such a big thing that I've hung my hat on for so many years. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think, you know, have have I been stupid? Right. Um, Well. (laughs) Well, it's good. Your upper body strength is there, but your lower body weight is so low that it really makes it not that difficult. I mean, you, 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 I mean. uh, uh, Guinness said you're lighter than a skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. A cup of dust weighs less than you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, A cup of dust. (laughs) Come yes. this place, Wes. Guinness, uh, of course, awarded him as <laughs> light as a skeleton, stiff as a board. Uh, well, their weirdest record. Unfortunately, yet, they yeah. weren't referring to downtown yeah. with stiff as a board. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, did you try that? that that's amendment? got its own record, correct? Soft as trout. <laughs> <laughs> Softest chode. So, uh, it, they said it was like. Um, it's like a, a plopped out uh, Jello cup. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> that was a little too firm for them. That was a, there's a side by side picture. Well, not a side by side. Mine's blurred out. But in the Guinness book, there's the Jello cup, and it says "Imagine genitals." By the way, when you all go on dates, just check to make sure it's a real date and not Guinness trying to see your Johnson so that they can put it in the world records book. Totally, totally. And you've been tricked multiple times with that. Yeah, obviously that's how well, I got into most going. disappointing sex. <laughs> you keep going on dates to the stall at Olive Garden. Uh, Newton will be synonymous with Mythbusters. <laughs> Does that make sense? He was the know. original well, Mythbusters. Well, no, the kids, instead of talking about Newton, yes. oh. will be talking about the Mythbusters. Well, because, exactly. what Bill meant. because the way they discovered gravity was that a beret fell on Jamie's head. <laughs> and he said, how did that get there? And they, they were yeah. like, oh, this must be gravity. So kids are going to talk about that beret. Yeah, it <laughs> won't be Thomas Edison in the school books. It will be the one with red hair. Let's also not forget Guinness was there. Guinness! They screeched to a halt and said, slowest bullet ever. Yes, Guinness showed up, beat the shit out of the Mythbusters, (laughs) threw them out into the street, and then Guinness got the record. Also, Guinness beat the shit out of me, which felt like it wasn't uh, necessary. Yeah, they got out of control. Yeah, that was big. I, I, and but it I, did set the record for weirdest record recording. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah, it did. They set their own record. Their records are becoming about themselves. How fast they screeched to a halt. But this recently. this does bring up the big Guinness Mythbusters rivalry. Yes. Guinness is creating <laughs> records and Mythbusters is busting them. That's yeah. right. Yes. And they're, they're, Mythbusters is following Guinness around and, and these guys are going at it. Yeah. And Guinness's yeah. new catchphrase is these are not myths. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> these yes. are not myths these are records That's do right. not bust them uh, but <laughs> yet, busters. because a lot of the records and myths involve what my body can and can't do now they're dropping me off buildings That's right. uh, they're putting me in car crashes That's right. they tried to make you fat and twins and put you on little motorcycles yeah yeah which worked <laughs> it ha- uh, for a day I was two fat twins on motorcycles <laughs> Well, this email's definitely going to go through. Oh, Mr. Hawes is trying to email someone. Who is oh, it? Oh, man. He's, email- Conan. He's emailing <laughs> He's emailing <laughs> LimeWire support, talking to Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Conan, thank you for hosting Saliva oh, God. on your show in 2002. Oh, God. That was Boss. <laughs> Call me back. Mr. Hoss. Call me back. (laughs) 
<laughs> and he's leaving his number now, so it makes Mr. sense. Mr. Haas is so sad. Oh my God. I think this Guinness fan just screeched outside. It's the saddest email ever. <laughs> Guinness world record bus is up there? I'm glad. Oh, they're banging Guinness. the door. It's Guinness. Let us in. Easy, easy. It's whoa, 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 whoa. It's Guinness Book of World Records. Let us in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let us in. whoa, 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 whoa. Like, all right, throw the flashbang. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, my ears are ringing. I can't see. Who sent the weirdest email of all time? We're, We're here to give you an award. We're Son, I'm here to save you. <laughs> yeah, ouch. I, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody, oh, calm I'm gonna down. ride my motorcycle away. Everybody, calm down. We still have so much time left in the study period, guys. Students, please remember, this is not play time. This is not social time. To sharpen your Mr. pencil, Haas. Mr. Oh, Haas, Mr. Guinness, Haas. Guinness, Guinness just bur- blew your door down through a flashbang grenade. We're here to give a Guinness award to Elizabeth Haas at AOL.com. Elizabeth. <laughs> yes, that's me. All right. You sent the saddest email ever. Which one? <laughs> I sent a lot of emails. I just sent one to Conan about saliva circa 2002. That's the one. Here's your award. Have a good day, sir. Okay.